weekly fundamental and technical analysis this let's look at some of the things we have for the week so last week we said that we are we kind of watching the market that the market is gonna be a little bit tricky on how we trade when somebody tells you that the market is going to be a little bit tricky it simply means from the way the person is trading it doesn't mean that there are no other traders that will make money that way it simply means the way that academy or that institute trade maybe they didn't find trading opportunity within the day and maybe when they will find their own trading opportunity the other people that made money the other week will not find trading opportunity so the most important thing in trading is understanding that there is a time to trade and there is a time not to trade so once you can able once you can be able to get that you know when to stay out from the market so throughout last week we we are unable to really catch some nice trading opportunity because we like swinging trade yeah we don't like going for two three pips ten pips we go for massive pips that swing trade so we like swinging trade that's why we trade from a a bigger perspective so that's why if we don't see those trending movements we stay out from the market so that's why if you want the previous analysis we said we will update you on our telegram group about it if the market unfolds so now the market has unfolded so throughout last week we were able we were able to take just one trade that last week which later stopped us out for break even something of that nature because actually we were testing our feet around that trade and that trade was G euro gbp we are trying to sell it but you can see that currently it is still ranging so we are trying to sell it and we are targeting for it to get to this point but it's been really so when we move our stuff to break even and all those kind of things so the trade didn't really move and when we did further fundamental beginnings we found out that there was no much gap on it so that's why we left it like that so that's the last trade we had so now a lot have changed in the market so starting with the US dollar you have to know that currently as of now the United States dollar, United States have risked a deal to raise the ceiling the Congress and the the Republicans and the Democrats they have reached a a consensus to raise the debt ceiling to two in two years and there are some things that goes into the people the most important thing that they are facing so that uncertainty is up the next thing is what it will mean for the market what it means is that the treasury will now offer new bond which there will be a demand for that bond and it might lead to credit crunch and for you to buy those bonds you might need dollar so if the public is buying those bonds there will be a demand for dollar so it will directly strengthen the dollar small then but if fed is buying it it means that they are going to print money to buy it so that's what it simply means so it means there is still uncertainty around dollar and you have to know that this is nfe week two with some other data and also the market is currently pricing it now as it stands now that fed remember in their last meeting they signaled a hike they signaled a possible pause data dependent but now the market is pricing in that they are going to hike due to some the data they were coming out of actually showing that there is a resilient economy like i said last week there was a print in gdp that showed that the gdp the market was expecting it as 1.1 and it printed as 1.3 so all those things started building in the expectation that the fed is going to hide so there is currently there is a gap in the market between what the fed wants and what the market wants so you have to be very careful if you are trading dollar at this moment so this is some of the updates like, of what is happening in the market so currently so B um for BTC now for this week due to the current sentiment also the market is pricing a lot of things so we might see a temporary strength 
But don't be shocked when you see massive movement that is favoring the dollar. Don't be shocked. But for now, we are out of the dollar trade. Anything dollar pair for now, we want to stay on the line and watch as the path clears up. So we have other places, other good trading opportunity that you don't want to miss. So the first trade on our watch list is GBB card. So hold on a sec. Let GBB card open. So this is GBB card. So we will be looking to buy GDB card within the week. But we start buying as the market is unfolding. So we start looking for buying opportunity from Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. So for now, we are not interested in buying until Wednesday. Once the market prints the strategy we want and one of the fundamental gets clearer so by from what we are looking at from what we are looking at by that store when is this last Thursday the part will be clear depending on the where the price gets coming this is where the price is now this is where price is now so depending on where price gets to on that when is day we start looking for buying opportunity so what we will tell you is this so from when is they start looking for buying opportunity on GDP card depending on your interest and which whatever interest strategy you have we have showed you the direction that will be buying this pair but from Wednesday afternoon so start looking for entry if you don't have any interest strategy you can use the one we teach on the one one of the video we made free here you can check the video it will be linked somewhere in the description or uh, it might be pinned in the comment box just check the video and watch it it will show you entry we have to enter how to exit and we have to put your stop loss too so you can watch the video and see if the market will print that the most important thing is to get the direction so fundamentally gbp card is cooking up for a bag that is the most important thing you need to take out from this video it is cooking it for a bag and when we start by our first profit target will be here the second one will be here so as the market is unfolding we'll be updating you on our telegram group so that is it the first one the first opportunity we'll be looking for the second opportunity we'll be looking for to buy is to continue the buy on gbp g e uh, j u j j g j sorry gbp JPY, so that should be by Wednesday too. There is nothing peculiar about the Wednesdays because of the fundamentals that we print within the week. That's what we want to use to align this trading opportunity. It's not that you mean that you want to trade every Wednesday. No, we are not preaching that don't trade on Monday, don't trade on Tuesday. We trade based on data. So once the data is in our favor, once the narrative is in our favor, so from the research we have done we have seen that it is from wednesday that the market will open up for us to trade the style that has been consistently profitable for us so that's why we are saying wednesday okay hope that is clear so the next one is also nzd card so remember we traded nzd card at a time okay let me show you these are telegram comments so if you have not joined the telegram community use the link down below and join this free telegram community so because this is where we will be dropping the updates as the market is unfolding so this is where we traded that this is the gbp card we traded at, at that time before it's the market now went down and stop us out for break even so this is it so join the telegram group and also if you are getting value from this video smash the subscribe button and turn off the notification button so whenever we upload any new video you will, will be the first to get notified so this is it we also so we remember we bought nzd card somewhere around let me see if i can remember somewhere around there we are trading it at the other time before we now told you lastly that we are watching it to to see what the market will do due to the data that will print out so now we are also interested to buy but we are not buying yet till wednesday 
to Wednesday, to, so within Wednesday, wherever the market gets, we determine what to do. But by then, we start looking for buying opportunity, but we are not buying yet. No matter what the market does, if the market like, let it shoot up here, we don't care. Once it gets to Wednesday and the path is clear, according to the analysis we have at hand, according to the data points, we now, wherever the market gets, we start trading it from here. Entry is not the problem, the problem is the timing. And the next one, maybe okay let's not make this video lengthy so we have called gbp can look for buying opportunity nzd can look for buying opportunity and gbp jpy look for buying opportunity so other trade ideas will be dropped in this telegram group so that this video will not be lengthy so use the link down below and join the free telegram community so whenever we drop the chat and if you want to get the charts of this analysis Join the Telegram group with that. We drop it there so that you can download it and mimic it. Sorry, <coughs> and mimic it from your own end. So other analysis will be dropped, both fundamentals as the market is unfolding. So that's why you need to join. And for you not to be missing our updates, smash the subscribe button and turn off the notification button so that whenever we upload any new video, you'll be first to get notified. Catch inside our group. And for those who are looking to learn how to trade. So we don't know how to trade, we don't know how to analyze the market, we don't know how to know what what to see and you stay out and all those things. You can feel free to grab our forest maybe because with that you learn how to read the market, trade the market confidently and professionally. Without so catching that group, wishing you a profitable trading week and peace.